Many people spend a lifetime dreaming of driving a car like this, but a group of students at a Sydney Senior High School have made that dream a reality. Well, in miniature anyway. Five students from Engadine Senior High School are the national champions in the F1 in Schools Technology Challenge and next month they're heading off to the United States of America to compete on the world stage. Evan, what is, what's the feeling like as you prepare to head off to that competition? Well, it, we're very excited for the next month. Um, we're very busy and we've got a bit of stress as well with um, all the work we have to do. What do you have to do? I mean, you've, you've made these miniature F1 cars from scratch, haven't you? Yeah. Well, it involves um, researching aerodynamics and what will make the car go fast. So we, um, we start the car by drawing it on CATIA, which is a program used by NASA and Boeing. And then we then analyse the car using CFD programs. And then we go on to manufacture the car and prepare them for racing. Megan, there's five of you involved in this team. Do you all have specific roles? Yeah, um, so I'm the team manager, so I get to boss people around. And I'm the graphic designer. Um, Josh here is the marketing manager and resource manager. And Evan and Laura are both design engineers. And Chris is manufacturing engineer. How do these cars actually move? What's fueling them? Um, it's just the carbon, carbon CO2 canister. CO2 canister in the back. And basically a little machine just punctures a hole in it and it just goes shooting off. Yeah. And Evan, they whiz past pretty fast, don't they? Yeah, yeah they do about um, 20 metres in just over a second, so that's about 80 kilometres an hour. Laura, we've just seen two of the cars race. How does it actually work? Oh, well, so basically you try and line it up with the black line, and then you match this up to it, put a CO2 canister into it, and then so there's a pin in this machine and then what you do is when you press the button the pin hits the CO2 canister and then it releases the gas and then so they take off down the track. So Josh we're now in the lab where everything really happens. Yeah. What is this machine and what is it doing? So it's the 3D printer and it's the make what brand and it's currently developing or oh, manufacturing the wheelbase for one of our new cars, the final wall car. And it's made out of um, PLA plastic, so it's a special one that it, when it melts it goes into a like, flexible strand and then dries again in the right form. And can you show us what it, exactly that part is or what it looks like on the car? So, on, it's actually on none of these cars, but this is sort of the final product. This is a front aerofoil from the national car. So the cars really are a mix of a number of products, aren't they? Yeah, so we've got balsa wood as the main component. The little stuff, 90% the, the of the car has to be made out of that. And then you can have the extra components such as the aerofoils made out of um, any non-metallic substance, such as plastic. So you mentioned the balsa wood, and I think Chris is uh, over here with that. Chris, this is what it starts off looking like. Yep. Um, it ends up looking like a car. How does that happen? Uh, well, um, we use this CNC router here, and since it's only three axis, we can only machine 90 degree angles, so we can do the side, the top, bottom, and we basically use the Katia drawing that they draw up for us, and we put it through a process called quick cam, and through that, we tell the machine essentially how we want it to to be machined and um, what type of grade, so if you want it fine machining or just rough. And it's incredibly light, isn't it? I mean, it looks like a, yeah. a, a plank of wood, but it's, it's so light. Yeah, um, the blocks that we get range from 50 grams to about 150, and the cars that we use to race, they're usually about 52 grams. So, Chris, it's just a matter of weeks, really, isn't it, now, before you all head off? Final preparations are now underway, or is there still a lot to be done? Uh, well, we've got about a few weeks until we have to fly out, so we're just getting the car designs machined, painted, undercoated, sanded back and ready to race. Are you confident? Yeah. 